What? Oh, I'm trying to find the hidden features. <laughs> that was so bad. You got fire burning, fire burning, right there in your eyes. So when you got... What's going on guys, Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Apple released WatchOS 8 a few days ago and if you're someone like me, you haven't really seen many differences. Even though this update wasn't a revolutionary change, I can guarantee you there's more than you think. In today's video, I want to show you guys my top 5 WatchOS 8 settings and features that you probably didn't know about. And make sure that you guys stay till the very end because I've included one bonus feature that I guarantee will help brighten up your your day. Starting off, Apple has released two brand new watch faces for watchOS 8. They are Portraits and World Time. Portraits is a really cool watch face that utilizes portrait mode photos in order to create a depth effect between the main subject and the background. The one thing about this watch face that most people don't know is if you rotate the digital crown, it actually enlarges the main subject to give it this really cool depth effect. That's not all though. It also intelligently places the time and date behind the main subject so that it gives the user a much more immersive experience. Now for all you watch face enthusiasts who've been asking Apple for a watch face with a centered digital time, your prayers have been finally answered. The next watch face is called World Time. This unique looking watch face gives you real-time data of countries all around the world and even provides the time for the sunrise and sunset indicated by the sun and the moon. I think this watch face was made for passionate travelers all around the world and for people who make a lot of international cause who don't want to bother their loved ones while they're sleeping. The world time watch face allows for complications within its four corners, but the hidden feature here is if you tap on the time of this watch face, the globe will rotate to the country that you live in. It's so personal yet so subtle and it's by far my favorite watch face of all time. Before I move on to the next tip, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Next up, iOS 15 released a brand new feature called focus, which essentially replaces do not disturb and enables you to not only customize your home screen and also allows you to regulate which notifications that you want to enable or disable. This is a great way to complete your daily goals and focus on what's important without being distracted by everything else around you. The really cool thing about focus is when you enable it on your iPhone, it's also enabled on your Apple Watch, your iPad and your MacBook as well. But the hidden feature here is you're actually able to enable focus mode straight from your Apple Watch. Here's how you do it. From anywhere on your Apple Watch, slide up from the bottom of the screen and press on the moon icon. From here, you're able to select whichever focus mode that you have personally created without having to look for your iPhone. The next feature that I wanna show you guys is gifts in messages. If you're like me, sending texts and emojis don't always get the message across. And that's where gifts come in. In Watch OS 7, there was no easy way to send gifts to someone, but in Watch OS 8, it has finally been included as a native option. The way to access this is go to the messages app on your Apple Watch, press on the app store icon on the left hand side and select the red magnifying glass. All of the most used GIFs are initially shown, but the hidden setting here is if you press on the clock icon in the top right corner, it will show you all of your recent GIFs alongside a bunch of common categories that people enjoy using. These include, yay, annoyed, oh my god, whatever, lol, and so much more. Now. You won't have to go reaching for your iPhone when you want to send a GIF. Alright, feature number 4, Home Keys. One massive feature that WatchOS 8 introduced was Home Keys in the Wallet app. For those who don't know, Home Keys is a brand new feature that enables you to unlock your house with your Apple Watch or your iPhone. You won't need any physical keys or cards and you won't have to memorize any PIN codes. All you have to do is walk up to your door, double tap the side button to open up the Wallet app, select your house key and tap. It's as simple as that. The hidden feature here is that these Home Keys are actually able to be shared with others without having to physically meet them in person. And for everyone asking, you can also transfer your car keys as well. Okay, setting number five wake screen. In watch hour 7, the wake duration and return to clock settings were stored together. To clarify, in watch hour 8, these settings have not been removed. They've actually just been kinda hidden. So let me show you guys how to find them. To find the wake duration setting, go to the watch app, then display and brightness, and then wake duration. 
it's really easy. They still give you the same options of 15 and 70 seconds, so nothing has changed there. To find the return to clock setting, go to the watch app, then press general, then scroll down and then press return to clock. From here, you're able to customize each individual app to ensure that it stays open or returns to the clock. If you guys made it this far into the video, here is the bonus hidden setting. Watch OS 8 introduced a brand new app called Mindfulness that replaced the Breathe app on previous versions of Watch OS. This app allows you guys to relax your body and calm your mind. This is so you guys can help ease the stress from day-to-day -day activities. These sessions by default only go on for one minute, but you can also extend these sessions as well. Let me show you guys how it's done. Open the Mindfulness app, press the three dots on the right hand side and then press duration. From here, you guys are able to customize your sessions to go as low as one minute and as high as five. This is a great way to extend your sessions and have a much more immersive experience. And that's it. Let me know in the comments which setting or feature is your favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see some more Apple Watch videos in the future. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Rrr.